Okay, so I think everybody has seen by now, everybody who's anybody, I guess, has already seen the, uh, the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight. So, I mean, I don't think it was what everybody was anticipating. I think everybody came in thinking it was going to be Mike Tyson was going to clean his clock. We all wanted it to happen, but I think a lot of us in the back of our mind knew that it wasn't going to be the case. That's the problem, is most of the fights coming out of, like, the uh, Jake Paul, Logan Paul stuff, and then who knows how long it's been going on, have actually been, like, set-up fights. Predetermined, to some extent, at least, like they last a certain amount of rounds or if they go a certain amount of rounds um they uh they get a certain payout and stuff like that or they completely knock the person out which i'm sure they still get a payout even if the person who loses probably still gets a payout but it's probably trying to make it look good right like they probably do set up those fights to make it look a certain way now in this video right here you're going to see him, I guess this was like five years ago. It's a five, like a five-year-old video, right? So I guess this might have been when they were starting their careers, if you want to call them careers. When they were starting down the path of doing boxing and all that stuff. And he basically just comes right out and says that a lot of it is rigged. So, you know, take it from the horse's mouth. Take it from a guy who is involved in it. Maybe not all of it for like, you can't just go back and just say, even from way back in like the 80s and 90s or like, but maybe more recently with some of this like YouTuber stuff and, you know, some of this stuff might be a little bit more orchestrated. We'll just say orchestrated to look a certain way. You know, they want it to look good or they just want certain people to look good for the cameras, for the crowd. You know, it is what it is. So I'm going to mute this, you're going to listen to this audio, and you're going to see what I'm saying here. So, chalk it up to the fucking game. Okay, yes, I said no to the trilogy, of course, but with the two points taken away after that knockdown, of course the score would have we'll been different and Logan we'll, would have won. I think we'll contest it. I think the commission could, should contest it. And, then, and if they don't flip that decision around, like, then it's just bullshit, you know? And uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, I've been in this sport for... A year now, yeah. and like I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all of this shit's fucking rigged. You know, you see people whining and dining each other. You see people at Staples Center. Like who was at the who was at the Staples Center last night with KSI? Joe Marcos. Just step. You know, people, people, be, people. This sport's rigged for sure. Hundred percent. This sport's rigged. This sport's rigged. He said. Hundred percent. Uh, Where do you rank this in, in the short amount of time I've been here, I've heard multiple stories about people paying stuff off, choosing fights, what time people sign contracts at. It's just, I don't know. It's not an excuse, but I'm just saying. Where do you rank this experience? There you go. So there you have it. I mean, it, uh, it appears as though a lot of it is, but... Can you trace it back to where it started, like where the rigging and or making things look better for certain people? I don't know. There might be evidence back there if you like look back in the annals of the history of boxing, the history of fighting. There could be evidence of that, but maybe more so now in the YouTube landscape and the social media landscape and all that stuff. Maybe it makes more sense to, you know frame it a certain way, make certain people look good, get a paycheck, all that stuff. Maybe it just makes more sense nowadays. Um, especially whoever owns, you know, whoever owns boxing or whoever's uh, or like behind the scenes, you know, shareholders and whoever is putting on these events and shows. So you got to always understand that there's always, you know, something going on when it comes to certain things, there's always somebody who's probably pulling strings or whatever. And uh, I don't have really much else to really say about it other than I was definitely more... Definitely after the first two or three rounds, 
I was just kind of like, you know, this sucks. You know, it's it's uh, an old man going against a young man. You know, Mike Tyson's not looking as good as he could be looking. He probably could have. He has even in his fight, his workouts and all that stuff, and in his uh, um, pre-fight training and all that, looked really good. Looked really sharp. But that might have been before some of those videos might have been before he had his uh, incident. I think that caused him to like delay the fight. I think they delayed the fight for a reason. And I think you know he was having a hard time. Like it seemed like he was having a hard time even keeping up all those eight rounds, but at least you can say he kept up, you know, he was still up. He was taking some shots here and there, even though even this, this video right here is going to show you that he went easy on him after like the first few rounds, kind of noticing that, you know, he's having a hard time. He probably wasn't even like, you know, other than just getting paid, he wasn't really that worried about the fight. You know what I mean? Like he didn't really want to, he probably wouldn't have even really fought a guy like him because he knows he's in his prime. He knows he's just wanting to make a name for himself. And, you know, could he have shown him up like maybe like 10 years ago or 20 years ago? But current Mike Tyson, I think, you know, might not be doing as well, you know, current form. But I still love him. I still love Mike Tyson. I still love Everything that he stood for, you know, the monster that he was back in the day. Like, you know, he had a beast in him back in the day. He's still a good man. He's try He tried to tame the beast. And I guess they wanted him to come back out and, and do stuff. But he just needed the money. It was a payday. So, and we're just going to watch this video real quick. But I didn't want to hurt someone that didn't need to be hurt. There was a point where... You know, I was just like, okay, he's not really engaging back. And so it, I don't know if he's tired or whatever. And I could just tell, you know, his age was showing a little bit. And I just have so much respect for him. And that, like, violence war thing between us, like, after he slapped me, I wanted to, you know, be aggressive and take him down and knock him out and all that stuff. But that kind of went away as the rounds went on. I wanted to give the fans a show but I didn't want to hurt someone that didn't need to be hurt. So, I mean, there you have it. He said he went easy on him probably after like the first two or three rounds, I'm guessing, because it seemed like Tyson was trying to come out of the gate being like a force to be reckoned with. It, it, it tried to, he tried to make it look good for a little bit there. And then you just saw him kind of peter out, slow down, Looked like he was tired, but maybe he did have some in him. He just couldn't really do it contractually. He couldn't actually, even when he had opportunities, like you look at other videos and stuff and people point stuff out, contractually he probably, you know, couldn't do, couldn't do certain things. So, hey, you know, he got his payday and everybody came out looking good or whatever, except for maybe Jake because I don't think too many people really like Jake that much. I'm not a huge fan of the Paul brothers. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I respect their hustle. I respect their businessmen. I respect, you know, they've come out and done certain things a certain way. They're viewed a certain way. That's just who they are. Like, that's their caricature online and all that stuff. You know, but I'm not the biggest fan of these guys. You know, I like prime drinks. That's the thing from Logan Paul. I like prime drinks, I guess, if that means something. But <laughs> So, I don't know. Um, that's all I got to say. Um, it kind of kind of was lackluster. It was a lackluster fight. Wasn't really much there. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, do the things on YouTube as they do. If you want to, if you actually got to this point. If you didn't, then I don't know. So, thank you, though. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys later.